We have boat tours out of St. Anthony operated by a professional marine biologist and he'll take uh, people into the area where the icebergs are, where he does his research for Memorial University. There's a underground salmon pool where the salmon swim upstream and they disappear into underground tunnels and resurface in limestone caves. We're located in northern Newfoundland in Mainbrook. We're 20 minutes driving distance from St. Anthony Airport and we're centrally located for all of the main attractions. I am here representing Tourism Southwest, which is an area of the province where the ferry lands in, uh, when you leave Nova Scotia, North Sydney, you land in Port of Ass, Newfoundland. And our main attraction, the Rose Blanche Lighthouse, is a restored stone lighthouse that was built over 100 years ago. So we really encourage you to visit us, lots to see and do. My wife and I are from Cape Breton, Nova Scotia and we make fire pits out of recycled propane tanks and we've been making them, this is our 10th year in business and this year we have our little mini pits and they're made out of the 20 pound propane tanks got a little ash pan on the bottom and a cover on the top for cooking you put a bag of charcoal in there or uh, some candles or a light very versatile, easy to carry around we are an uh, outdoor adventure company in, uh, just outside of St. John's, Newfoundland we're about 20 minutes drive outside of St. John's, Newfoundland uh, we do the uh, shipwrecks, we do iceberg diving, and a new product that we're on the cups of uh, launching sometime in the next year is uh, scuba diving in the abandoned iron ore mines in Belle Island. One of the most iconic things we have in western Newfoundland is Grossmore National Park. It's a world UNESCO heritage site. It's one of the few places in the world that you can walk on the Earth's mantle. There's probably, I think, only six places in the world that you can actually see that phenomena and the only place that's accessible to walk on. When it comes to Fogo Island, of course the world, world famous Fogo Island Inn is there, which is on Oprah's bucket list. Everybody wants to know how expensive it is, everybody wants to know what's so special about the inn, what makes the architecture so special, and I've been doing a lot of talking about the hiking and walking trails there as well. What makes Newfoundland and Labrador so special from the tip to the bottom is the people. The storytellers that we have, people that like to talk about their province, people that, that like to talk about their experiences, how nice everybody is. So that's the amazing part of this trip.